Oh, hello. We were talking about pub uh, in, during the break. But we're back to talk about uh, a Grandmaster match between Rav and Opie. Definitely two cream of the crop players here. Yep. Uh, two of our great Grandmaster players. Um, Opie, the famous runner-up of all time, um, who famously lost to people multiple times, unfortunately, in Winter Cup and Summer, Cummer, bleh, summer Cup. Um, Rav, just known to be, you know, a go on Sniper, just really well known, has held down really strongly on Sniper side, is still a decent spy too, with some great, certainly slower, but nonetheless, really strong plays on that end too. Yeah, so far in Grandmaster, uh, Opie's won two matches, Rav uh, has won one, drew one. Uh, OP with a 9 5 over Grosh, 9 7 over me. Uh, Rob drawing Ada and 9 3 in Grosh. Bit of a gap in the scoreline between the two. Yeah, OP with a slight overall kind of points and like overall record advantage in terms of matches, but Rob doing ever so slightly better against their common opponent in Grosh. So that could totally just be, you know, a couple games swinging Rob's way a little bit quicker, or, you know, maybe just playing more solidly. So we're going to see how that plays out between the two. Yeah, and the interesting stuff that I noticed here is that Opie has an 80% sniper win rate, uh, followed very closely by Rob and myself at 79. So we'll see if he can, uh, we'll see who takes the lead on that, because this match will probably decide that. Or if can yeah, actually, that. also right in. Oh, uh, my match, my new match is probably in there then. Perhaps. Oh, I'm just looking at the scoreboard you sent. I don't know. Oh yeah, which I don't one? know. That's lost. Yeah, that's supposed to be. Anyway, one. oops. We'll go on to the draft. Yeah. Opie banning aquarium. Uh, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it's OP. <laughs> I think that that one uh, big old montage on Aqua was enough for a lifetime for him. Mm-hmm. And I did yeah. gentleman rule with OP to not ban Aquarium. So that's the only <laughs> reason that that didn't appear there. Yeah. We have a balcony ban from Rob and High Rise, which makes sense. Soft hill venues get him out of here. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Rob's super solid sniper. Those are the venues you don't want to see when though when that's what your kind of strong suit is. Uh we have a restriction of veranda from OP, which is I don't know, a bit unconventional. I guess it's a venue that Rob likes though. Might be targeted. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like I don't know how I totally feel about it, just because like it's very commonly just sniper party where like if you don't want to pick it, don't pick it. If you know, if someone else picks it, then like just kind of hope for sniper party there with it being a five of eight, especially against a like a slow player. I feel like I wouldn't be too worried about that as a venue, but Opie probably knows something I do not on that matter. So yeah, there's definitely something to be said for leaving sniper favorite maps to the end if you need to close them out. Uh, yeah. But as far as our draft goes, we have Ballroom from Opie, Terrace from Rav, High Rise from Opie, so picking the restricted venue, then Rav uh, doing that back, picking Veranda, closing out with Modern and Gallery. Yeah, I would say these are... It, uh, these are actually kind of interesting picks. The Terrace... Terrace there is kind of sticking out to me. It feels like an interesting first pick from Rav there. But, I mean, I've seen Opie get burned on Terrace before. Uh, notably, I feel like, against Martini, just some Civ shots not going his way with luck there. But we'll see what kind of can happen on there yeah, with a 3 of X. This is really interesting. We have Opie delaying his restricted venue, which makes sense. And then Rob yep. delaying Terrace and multiplying it. So forcefully putting 
is double at the end, and it's not one of those sniper-sided, like, five of eights that you would expect to want to close out on. Yeah, this is really interesting play from Rob here. I'm very curious to see what the plan is there, considering that, you know, like I said, this is someone you would think would be very against three of X's and who has banned balcony and restricted another three of X. So what is kind of the plan here? Are you really going to like planning to say, I plan on surviving through the set up until the last four games and they're all my turf on a three of X. So it's got to be something planned there for sure. Yeah, maybe counter to the, you want to close on a sniper-sided venue because you're up. Maybe right. it's, I want a spy-sided venue because I might be down. But we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, and of course, OP doubles ballroom because it's OP. It's OP. I wouldn't expect anything less from the king of the most standard venue of all. But regardless, we are going to start with that doubled ballroom here. With Rav playing as our spy first as Teal or Mom to some. Um, we're all ready. I'm ready. All right, then we can start off our second set here in three, two, one, playing it. And Rav starting out on the spy side here, which I think is uh, Opie's deferred option. Every time that I play him, he likes to start spy. Yeah, I feel like that's what I remember seeing, yeah. So. I'm just kind of going to go for our first flirt here. General. Typical start here. 51% uh, can't complain. Reject. Yep. And unfortunately, we are one of the people with one of the longest talk animations. Oh. So we can't take that bug without a oh. pretty obvious, you know, tell there. But as you said, we have a long talk animation, though. So Opie is able to discredit that bug. Yeah, he can. So that does play to our benefit a little bit there. Or at least... As our light would say, it, you know, it's kind of just neutral. And the red. You're going to fake BB, though. BB. And General leaves. I don't think that Opie's going to, you know, low light our conversation, but that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely something you like to see. We are going to go for this first fingerprint here. Ooh, that's tight squeeze. But we're just going to hand the briefcase between Hare and Duke there. Doing a very spy-like thing here on Ballroom, landing behind the pillar. It's a very subtle thing that I don't think a lot of Grandmasters tend to do. Well, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You're just kind of trying to play that, like, subtle occlusion. The longer I can go without being noticed by the sniper, the less they will see. Like, the less they will pay attention to me. Yeah, that can also be set of our flirt position in that first combo. I'm going to take a time add because General's gone statue to statue here, and we don't want to do the same. Yep, and that's totally fair. And, and he's doing it again. Going back to a third. <laughs> You're not going to go for a bug there. Kind of a highlight as we enter statues here. I think the middle one might be printable. Got a lot of soft tilt progress and a fake BB. It does. Yeah, looks like we're just going to go finish up this flirt real quick. Even Choosing OB, to... I think, can pair this. Yeah, I would say so. You were, you two were alone in a convo together for the fake BB, and then you join him at Statues and immediately join him after, even if it's a cross convo. Doesn't yeah, always look the greatest. I think the difficult print. We do we hit it, it as well. Contact. And the end of red. Well... And we're shot, That's though. Yeah. I think what this is, I think this is a bug credit going into statues. Yeah, I would came say so. Before we landed. Did it? Oh, yeah, we were kind of getting... Well... Because OP doesn't highlight for side statues. Well, Right, I was going to ask about that. Was if 
Opie did for Cider, full inspects. Yeah. Yeah, because he doesn't light general until he's at his second statue visit there. So, yeah, I would say we just got credit for bug. Everything else. Yep. And it's the right shot, so can't be too mad about it. So, first point goes to Opie. Sniper on ballroom, I mean, pretty understandable. And Opie, the most notorious rusher of all, is playing our slowest character of all on his favorite venue. So, we're going to see how that plays out in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, can absolutely still pull off a rush here. I should we get off to some early cheese flirts as OP so often yeah. does. Ups not uh, to chase to the window yeah. and nudge onto that corner of the green chomp. I have to say, one big perk with Pearls, though, is that because she's so slow, she's also very slow at her animation cycles, and so it can make a three cycle with a swap at the same time if you want to kind of have a quick finish. Just a little Wait, bit easier. Transfer. It was a briefcase return coinciding with that, so that could explain why that was not noticed. You know, that transfer animation goes great with her dress. That's very true as well. Color theory, I think, is so important factors in how this game plays. I mean, yeah. Color is very important. I mean, you have to locate the green arrow, not the red, not the yellow, not the purple. It's a very important thing to do. We have 15% flirt, so we can two flirt here. Which is definitely what you like to see. Decent amount of time invested so far in this game. Opie has the opportunity to take uh, same contact that Rob did last game. I don't think that's necessarily right. uh, a thing that will be will do very often. Yeah, we are just gonna go for a green purloin here real quick. Yeah, no chain on that. If Rob screen, wasn't playing close possible. attention. Oh, unfortunate, not getting the second alert. We get a reject from red. As well, offered to the DA. Chain of two. Rob zooms in. Neil's kind of blocking the book pad there, because I think Opie might have wanted to go to Blue Books there and get that transfer while the Berlin was being dealt with. And we're shot. Very on top of it from Rob. Yeah. That was a really good find. I mean, I think considering you have assuming you didn't see that you know transfer happen earlier you've got a flirt pair and that one purloin chain to go off of which a very fast reject and if you're paying attention to how close you are to Kane twice in a row that'll do it we did also break etiquette to leave conversation but i don't necessarily think that is too much of a factor here yeah but not sure but Sniper's on ballroom, but we've got more to play here. And Rob is going to continue as our ST from before. So hopefully he doesn't get shot for flirt pairing too. In three, two, one, playing it. He's going to chase his ST though until she goes to Windows of Seek. Oh. Uh oh. What did. You... Oh. Did he get credited with a, some weird wrong arm shenanigans? That's very unlike OP. Yeah, that's a weird shot there. I think just the arm swing there on just kind of taking the wrong angle to it. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't see where the confusion is, but Opie definitely credited a chaos bug there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, give, I think if you see the path there, just like there's no reasonable way to get a wrong arm there. Like, his his right arm is inside and away from Amba at all times, so it's kind of unfortunate there. 
but it happens to the best of us. Obia, so maybe Obi just wanted to get small and button in return. I was gonna say he might just have wanted to get that sniper game over with because he's so excited to play as Smallman here. I don't think so, Obi would forego an opportunity to play ballroom though. That's very true. Any other venue, sure. Well, I'm the world may never know. But what the world will know in the next few minutes is what Opie decides to do as Smallman and how Rav will punish it. Starting in three, two, one, playing it. It's going to land an innocent conversation here at the start. Are offered a drink. And we just take an innocent drink. I think it's a very reasonable play if you're if yeah. you're like one of the first ones to be offered, you might as well, because you're probably going to open with flirts anyway. And right. it's not going to track your gold. Yeah, well, it looks like we're going to go for... Never mind. I was going to say it looked like we were going to go for the gold at statue or books there so we could get off the flirt, but... I'm surprised he's playing with a lot of respect. I'm surprised to see Opie cancel that path to shelf. Yeah. This is very passive for him. Yeah, we are the fastest time adding character, though. This would is make true. a late game rush. Of course, our ST is also just not being the most agreeable. If we are seeing OB play this passive, that could be, I don't want to say a sign of weakness, but OB might not be feeling it during this match. Because normally we see Opie play with a lot of confidence. <laughs> Double agent leaving Some as well. camera Sorry. shakes. Oh boy. There's a stand. Do you get a standing bug though? Bug. It was slightly visible even before we zoomed in to check the tray. Not highlight. Yeah, I think. Not highlight, so. We'd be dead if that hopefully was Hopefully good. Double agent has returned. Going for fingerprint. And the end of red. Beat oh, and we're gonna the green. green BB with the case, and we're shot immediately okay. for it. Rav, uh, always on top of things. Yeah, these these last two shots felt maybe a little hasty from Rav, but they're right, so I can't be too mad at it. <laughs> if Obi splits from that contact, I don't no, if Rav shoots, I feel like part of that shot was how long we waited the briefcase. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It was the just the red. pause felt weird there. If we had set it down, even, like, that's within... You know, we'll see. We don't know. We don't, indeed. But it is all snipers. What a shocker. Or, well, not all snipers, sorry. It's all snipers shooting someone at least, but Rob is going to be up one game there into as we go into pick. Yeah, high rise here. Or no, this is Opie's pick because Rob delayed his own pick. So um, we're actually going to see six games oh yeah. on Opie's territory: two from Rob, two more from Opie, and then the last six You're games right. are all Rob's picks. So, Opie really wants to get his points in now. No, from Nebula. No. We've got, wait, second special Hold on. gallery. Oh, they messed up the order, I guess. Okay. Well, we'll just oh. go with whatever we get. Well, we got high rise, so. Still Opie's pick. Rob's uh, restrict. We'll see what uh see what they do. Yep. Starting in three, two, one, playing it. Starting with a side statue, we do have a swap on Prince off. Yep. Kind of that settled mission choice. 
Yeah. And I think, you know, I, I think that's what we're going to see a lot of for the people that do pick high rise. This is probably going to be like, like we were talking about between this and having purloin off instead of fingerprint. Those are almost definitely going to be the two most popular picks probably. Yeah, we land in conversation far from RST, and then she splits. It's quite dim. Uh, We're going to rejoin her, but from across convo here, it's only going to get us 25% with a green flirt. There's a relatively shorter cooldown across conversation, but still don't want to have to rely on hitting four greens. Certainly not. Playing twin is picked up a highlight, potentially for flirting with uh, Ralph here. And the end of red. Mm, we're gonna take a BB here. And that leaves... Knocks out three. Which isn't horrible. Isn't great though. We're twin rejected. But... We did just take a sip. We could have gotten in on this chain. I've hit a second green. We are at 51% now, so we can rejoin our ST in the other convo and get a close flirt. If we hit that green, we'll be done with flirt. With only yeah, we'll one inspect if, uh, wait from finishing. But... We'll see if that distant flirting does pair it, or pay off, or if uh, OP is paired us regardless. Yeah. We should be close enough here. It's a little close, but I think... We're going to hit a white, so it doesn't matter, actually. Unfortunate, but I guess you would rather have that happen before you go for and the inspects. If that's the... I'll go for a fake. Rob takes. Not off another low light, but Sari is going to take a highlight for it. But it's still not a shot on any sieves, so... Not really what you want to see here. Yeah, Rob, finishing this drink. Probably going to go for... I'm gonna say flirt into the last second purloin. This is kind of a safe route. Dead briefcase might give us a bug opportunity. Well, oh, I think we tried for a wrong arm behind the pillar there. Yeah. We moved too soon. No, yeah, it has to be purloin. Sure. Yeah, when we, we requested just... too late, we have to bug, really. Oh, this is just gonna be a Rob timeout. Yep. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that seems We are really high lit, though. I think we need to just go into inspects and finish. We can't let this uh, I, I finish. I don't think we, we I win think we're this dead. regardless. I, yeah, but... but... Yeah, just... Perlin's not going to survive for it, unfortunately. How close was that to zero? I can oh, test screen at point three seconds point three. Left. That's crazy. <laughs> and Rob still chooses to split on top of that. Yeah, that's just like... That feels like just kind of putting a spotlight on yourself for the purloin there. Like, I feel like you could have maybe just tried to justify and be like, well, maybe he missed, you know... a missed the last take with Smallman there or something. I think what and... Rob's banking on is that he leaves quick enough that it doesn't even look like a, a reject. You got offered, yeah. And if you don't hit the green, you're losing anyway. Uh, although there is potential that if you green test and split, I think at the same time, like a frame perfect kind of thing, you can still right. trigger a crash. Oh. So, that sounds real risky, fun. Risky finish, but I was in danger anyway. Bug potential. I want to see if that could have worked. Yeah, maybe. I think if Rob had waited another second, he could have triggered the arm and then bugged as the ambo was walking by. I think that would have I think that would have worked, too. Just a slight mis-execution. Yeah, a bit unfortunate there, but We'll get Opie a little bit closer back on the board there, like he wants to see. So, now it's his turn as spy, as 
Orange Sari. Second slowest character, but if there's any venue where I'd say a slow character is not really a hindrance, I'd say here is fine. Absolutely. We'll get this one going in three, two, one, playing it. Be starting out of blue books, but we do have transfer off. Yep, just a lot of missing books. Gain. <laughs> we are going to join our ST for a decently close square. I don't think it's enough for a 51% on the green. It might be enough for 49. Well, it's 32 on a white, so both of us were wrong. Yeah, I don't know the conversion on that. I think it's one and a half, I want to say. True. That's what 51 some, is to 34, but yeah. It's also not integers under the hood. Right. They're all floating points. <laughs> as far as I know. Unfortunate the DA leaves. I think we're about to join in. Step in for a first inspect. Get highlight for Green taking swap. some partial inspects. As you mentioned during the last it's match. Possible. Yeah, that's a good place if, you know, if a low light takes that statue. I think it's looking like it'll be pearls, though, based on the location. And pearls it is. We're going to be to cover for it. Rob highlights for yeah, and we, is we rotate look for, for it. Yep. And a shot. I do wonder if Opie could yeah. would have afforded to get farther in this conversation. Because entering an immediate BB does kind of raise a red flag for this statue swap. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think. I think regardless, it seemed like Rob was going to be kind of on top of it and watching for it. But. Rob's pick of, uh, or Opie's pick of Rob's restrict does not pay off this time. It does hold even, though, so. It does keep Opie behind by one sweep here, but it's not, you know, it's not like a dead game, dead set or anything yeah. for Opie. Yeah, we've got here. There's plenty here. to play. So it seems like the players delayed it by one rather than delaying it to the end of the set. Interesting. Uh, I'm not actually sure how delay works. I thought it was the end, though. It should um, be the end of the set, as far as I know. Okay. Well, we got Terrace here. Veranda got delayed first. Okay. Anyway, we'll see what uh, Rob has in store for this doubled Terrace pick. Yeah, so we are going to be starting off as Rob playing Tav, but halved. Um, you know, Roft playing Tav, of course, in three, two, one, playing it. Fast character on a small venue. I I was going to say, it's a very similar contrast to uh, Opie playing Pearls. We've got a typically slow uh, spy taking a very fast guest here. And that is the state benefit of I think, both these players of picking Tex, is that you can play as Tex sometimes. Yep. We give a bit of incidental cover to Smallman in that bug path, but I think he'll be confident that no bug occurred. Yeah, I feel like Opie is definitely one of the players that is definitely well-trained enough on a bug that most times can tell whether it's a bug or not. Barring ballroom. Uh, barring, you have... barring ballroom walking directly behind Amba Steel. We do have DA picking up the briefcase, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, knocking out one potential fingerprint for this game. Uh, but at this stage, both players have a pretty good green rate and can recover difficult prints. Oh, definitely. I mean, we're, you know... We've got one green flare already, so just one more, and 
you know, we'll have that two flirt if we're close enough and we'll be right back on track. For a delegate, I don't think there's still a difficult print on this as two people. No, are here there is us. So say Queen got the regular and Alice got the difficult. And Wheels has the difficult from the case so far. So three prints are out there. There's a lot of potential finishers of that mission going forward. But our Amba's also not doing too much right now. He might in a minute though, as twin yeah, is. Yeah, I was gonna say twin is... Pretty good time for contact. And the end of red. Take it. And the Amber bails. So knocks out one double agent. Switching conversations. And we delegate. We are framing Alice here, potentially. But with Alice going for a print here, I don't know how much I totally love it, because it just looks like Alice is over-completing here. There's the purloin. Teal. It doesn't matter, because Teal's going to take the shot, though. And, well, Rob's pick is already paying off. I'll see if he takes home even more. Taking the second of four games. Yeah, and we are Alice yet again. Going forward in three, two, one, playing it. We're right by Amba, but we do not go for a bug because that would be out in the open. Jeez, we do, I'm however, go open. for her. <laughs> A very cheeky little, you know, flirt and bail. If we hit that second green flirt, I'm expecting a really quick finish here. Like, might maybe yeah. mission and countdown before there's under two minutes on the clock. General with a very bug-oriented path. On that brief case, turn into flirt. second flirt. This is the moment of truth. Nope. And there's some camera shakes. Yeah, we'll be unhappy. Uh, some par. Green rate. To be fair, our DA actually did go to the bar, so we couldn't really just delegate right then and there and just be done with it with a BB. We are going to pass the buck to Taft, though. Our spy from the last game now taking the list in this one. Yeah, we can finish the other two missions in the other conversation, but we got to move after this talk. Perlin's going to happen before that. Yeah. See how good yep. Rob's recall is. And, and it is near perfect. Yep. We are down to three. Okay. We cannot leave and take this BB anymore. We need Queen to come to us. Yeah, that would be devastating oh half switching conversations would have been great as well no talk but general was sipping that could give us an out but taft comes back and he's talking this is really just a game of contact rocker brought back up though Oh, uh, we've lost Ico. Double agent out of conversation for the time being. The three or four remaining suspects are, you know, in this conversation. And if none of them move, including this DA, things could get ugly for Opie. I guess no bug was credited to General, as probably would have been dead by now. Queen does not opt for this conversation going through the briefcase. Out of contact, it's very unlikely that a civ shot happens, and if one does, Rob still might have a 1 in 3 chance of finding this, uh, maybe a bit more than 1 in 3 if he has any suspicion of me. Double agent is joining. Hope he's happy about it. Under 10 seconds, it doesn't matter that there's overtime. All three are talking. General break. stop talks though. Oh, boy. Does the white BB sell Opie down the river? Just white.
Rob finds the shot correctly. The stopped the fact that the other two had finished talking. Might do it there. Yeah. It's risky for General to talk, stop talk into the BB. Tap was just finishing up his talk animation, so. Solid shot from Rav. Close game. Yeah, definitely. But Opie needs uh, to hold on at this point. Things are starting to slip. Yep. Uh, this is starting to get into the danger zone for sure. Um, you know, Rav is three games away from victory and Opie is seven. So it's quite the deficit. So we are going to see what happens as Rav goes forward as the queen. In three, two, one, playing it. Paying homage to his nation's yes. uh, symbolic leader. I don't, I don't remember what the queen did. Um, 40% a great number. Yeah, it's solid. It's not too flirt solid, but it is solid. We do get <clears throat> some prints left behind by our Amba here, dropping case and heading over to bar. Yeah, Rob. Being an eye on potentially the route to bar. We might want to let that go for a moment. It doesn't appear and anyone else is headed there. RST went for that case pretty aggressively, I'd say. So I wonder if that kind of gets some behavioral credit there for trying to snatch the combos, sorry. which are now full. And the end of red. Twin bales just before we can get out the BB, unfortunately. Sixty-six percent. Any close for it will finish. Certainly. Sorry, kind of staying active. I would not hate if we just kind of fake a delegate here, but it might be a little late for that now. Yeah, has there only been one other person to bar? We could go for the difficult if that is still the case. Speaking of the case, it's en route. Standing bug. And we're shot. And timed with Good the try, case though. return. Red dress pretty clearly not being a threat there. Yeah. So be the capacity to catch Rav. Yeah, just see the bug and yeah. That'll happen, but it's one of those games that Opie really needed to catch back up, so it's definitely, it feels good to find that shot there and just kind of say, okay, I can stop focusing on Sniper for a second and, you know, exhausting my brain like that. And so instead, get to have some fun on the spy side as Duke here with hair yet again as our ST. Um, starting in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, if Opie's able to draw this one back, a bit more faith in the rest of this match, but Rav, I think as expected, is looking like the favorite here. We didn't do predictions, but I think uh, that's true. We Rav. didn't, but I think I could have seen it going either way from the start, just given the past results so far in S in SML2, but I think given the current scoreline, I am very heavily in favor of Rob, just given how solid he is as the sniper. Reverse You're going to get a pretty nice back. bug, but it's going to be seen. I thought for a moment, Snapback might have eluded Rob on the rotation. Does find it. Does in fact find it, and that's just going to... 
and and this is exactly what I was about to say. Rob is just like known for being so solid on that sniper that it kind of just feels like a war of attrition that Rob's already way ahead on here. You know, Rob just needs to hold down two more sniper games, and that's the set. So, that is when if you're OP here, grandmaster matches, right. It's just, it's really not what you want to see if you're OP here. So, we are going to move on to our fourth venue here, Gallery, Rob's third pick. Um, and we are going to be seeing Rob playing Boots starting in three, two, one, playing it. Do go right by Amber there. Don't opt for a bug there, which understandable given the last two games. Yeah, we'll see and if we just black wanted butter. to go for this uh, cheeky statue flirt, but with both statues being occupied, one by the ambassador, it makes it really tough. We are going to chase our ST down to see whatever painting pad she stops at and join her. Dilly dally with that path green. for a bit long, but we're going to get a 45% out of it. Now we can kind of just sit here for a couple seconds, let that cool down for a minute. And we could rejoin our ST, which we do in fact do, but she's going to take a drink. And is she going to leave? She won't. Flirt We're also going to take an quite up yet, but we can afford to flirt this. We pretty close. Oh, yeah. Seventy-nine percent after that second flirt. Almost any flirt will do it. Any green will definitely do it. It's unlikely Toba will be upset with this one. Yes. If Rob one. finds a way to get a twenty percent flirt after hitting seventy-nine percent, I will be. My jaw will be on the floor. You won't be able to see it, but it will be there. Have Damon custodians on standby. Yes. Only one highlight in this party so far. Yeah, nothing too too crazy happening here, which not necessarily what you want to see when you're Rav. <clears throat> yeah, it is rare to see highlights. I think from some. Grandmaster players, right? Because they use them for more significance than just rote behavior, right? We rip out a green book while Amba's outside. We kind of put ourselves in a position where that's not going to be very visible, although our cover disappears. I think. Well, we get some more cover in the form of the SDA here. If we weren't visible, and we're just going to go to books here. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like we're even being watched. We almost even got rotated off screen by the side of the wall there. Yeah, Emma being I, outside for that whole endeavor. Both shelves yeah. is quite nice. We could go for I like think a, I'd an like insect to swap. I don't even know if I'd want to see an insect swap. I think we could just, yeah, get this BB down here, inspect, and call it good. Yeah, we do have time to do that. So I think the we're well. ignoring this we just have case. That. It leaves oh. for the case. Now we might need to inspect swap. Yeah. There's because otherwise you're on that bottom statue at some point. Could attract this is some true. attention. No longer though. General still holding on to that briefcase, though. Armor suspicious, and it looks like whatever print was there is gone. He's not joining that back combo either. The SDA is still in there. We're gonna have to go for a bug. Are we gonna? Honestly. I think a bug or a we purloin. Can't. We're setting up for a bug, but we don't have enough time. We got a purloin, and it's white. white purloin. Oh. And we're just dead for that. Really unfortunate. Just the DA bailing for the briefcase there. So uh, that's a real shame because that transfer I think was completely clean and well executed. 
Yeah, I think if we just if we go for that BB almost instantly after joining Convo, I think we win with the inspects. Um, so that's unfortunate for Rav. Good news for Opie and anyone who wants to see more games, because that's you know another <laughs> live safe there for Opie's end. But we are going to move on to his spy game on Gallery, which he'll be playing as Disney. In three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, gallery certainly a spy winnable venue, but it's gonna take some trickery, I think, for Opie. Oh, absolutely. Cookie cutter game isn't gonna cut it against Rav. No, definitely not. I mean, this is definitely a venue that has its own challenges for sure. Um, between just how long the venue is and you know, how easily that you can just have an ST or a DA that's just on a whim will just be all over the place and you just can't keep up with them. And that that by itself will spell disaster. Hope he was Speaking a of... very contrastive start to uh, what we need to expect out of him here. No progress yet. I'm almost a minute off the clock. Looking at the shelves, maybe. Or trying to assess the yeah. cover for a potential purloin. Opie just has not really gone for that, like, super aggressive, like, rushy play style, which, you know, I don't hate that. It's just definitely an interesting thing to note. Yeah, we did have a very tempered games on ballroom at the start. Potentially Rob coming a time. respect out of OP. Green time at Amps coming outside, so we are zoomed out. Let's see if Rob is able to uh, narrow this down if he knows the time at. Yeah, looks like we are going to go for our first flirt here. And we hit a white for 34. <laughs> Getting out of there to go to Blue Books. Amba is heading outside. We could go for an animation here. We're just going to go for a direct. Yeah, we're going for it. Run across. We're doing what Rob did last game, cutting out the extra steps. Book is back. And it's a good play because it works. Both players yeah. have now demonstrated that to each other. Unfortunately, Twin yeah. has landed at the blue shelf, so we can't exactly go back to, back to him right now. What, you mean you don't want to go back to back to back bookshelves? Yeah, two is the hard tell, not three. Every odd number is perfectly fine. I thought you wanted something that wasn't the cookie cutter, though. <laughs> That'd certainly be <laughs> out of the standard mold. Fair this number is a... of low lights here in, in SDA's Yeah, out. that's like a solid five. We Miss Wheels and Smallman, I think, were the two that were out. But. I think more importantly than knocking those two down, I think Rob is mentally knocking these four up who are outside. Right. <clears throat> two of whom have now left. Sorry, oh, and sorry, she's going to take a shot. And that's a little bit of momentum back for Opie there, getting a sweep finally back. And that's definitely what you need to see here if you're him. Yeah, had inspect completion there on top of the contact, probably presumed uh, flirt. Uh, I don't know what the fourth mission exactly is that Rob's crediting, but Opie absolutely needed that and was in a fair um... position to maybe close out that game. So it have maybe just been saying, hey, I think you're swapping right now. But I'm not totally sure on that. But regardless, we do move on to Terrace. Or not Terrace. Modern. Modern. Um, neither of these two are notably a pathing sniper, so I'm not really worried about that aspect of this venue. But it's just kind of a... Big venue, a lot of people. Um, 
this was Opie's pick? Yeah, Opie has been kind of picking yeah. Modern serially in SML so far. Yeah, which notably, after this venue, there is in fact Veranda. So with it being such a heavily sniper sided venue after this one, you really are going to be looking to sweep this one if you're OP here to try and just get there. And if I you're Rob, I wouldn't count him out on that. He's, oh, definitely not. He's pretty confident on his modern. Buy. Oh, yeah. Even if it's potentially at the cost of his modern sniper, but I think he's more than capable. Oh, absolutely. Both this could this could totally still go either way. I mean, it's. I mean, we're, it's Grandmaster. It's the best of the best of the current community right now. So, and me. we'll definitely see how it goes. Um, so we have Rob's wheels. Boots is our ST right by us. Uh, starting in three, two, one, playing it. Looks like we started to kind of chase there, but didn't want to go to statues and make that commitment too early, which don't blame that. We take kind of a dedicated line in this conversation, but there's nothing necessarily to gain. Maybe yeah. setting up in this position as a maybe a bug path. Yeah, I'm not totally sure. We're just kind of sitting, observing a party, getting a feel for what's going on right now while we wait for our ST to move. And move she does. Over to Red Books where Smallman already is, so we can't really just reliably flirt there. But it's a huge venue as well. So time wasted is time uh, that could have been better spent. Yeah, this is certainly... Just this is a pretty harsh back to back to back going from gallery into modern into veranda. Just three of the biggest venues just all together. And it's not what you want to see, or like not what you want to see if you don't want to be running around or idling here. Gotta move on into a pretty good opportunity to contact. There's only four out. Yeah, that's certainly solid. One of them has partial inspects, one of them is a bar taker, but Outside it's of that, worse. It there's been three horrible. F really full conversations. Yeah, and they all, I mean, and we just lost an SDA as that went off. Can work in your favor sometimes. If the sniper notices, you might expect and want to keep in mind those specific characters in case that they do get a second one. Yeah. does look like we only managed to get three low lights off, so that's looking pretty good for Rob. And Taps is going to take the Taps entire spot next to SD. Settling for something a bit less, but Rob's green will uh, supplement. Yeah, it'll still get us some good progress for sure. There is a print, yeah. I think, on the second to last statue. So we'll see if Rob is keeping that in mind. Or let him cook. <laughs> let him cook indeed. Might be waiting around for this timer, for, but that's going to burn a lot of time off the clock. And hopefully not uh, the print that's gone down at the red shelf, too, because that's two potential prints to finish in the last minute. Speaking of things burning, you say let Rav cook, but we might be sitting a little bit too long here. We might burn ourselves. <sighs> yep. Rav has suffered a third degree burn on the action test. Into bar. Might have to delegate. But what's the fourth mission we're going to do while that purlin comes off? I mean, it's so little time. Drawing Obi to the left here. I feel like with how little time we have, it's. I mean, it's either looking like a swap or a bug. I. You don't have enough time here to do any kind of soft tail. Flirt done. We sent off 
seek. Twain has gone statue to statue. Oh, and Rob just got a huge break there. That is really unfortunate for Opie that just Twain going back to back finishing inspects like that. Because that was not looking like a finished game on Rob's end by any means. Yeah, bailed out by Opie. That's not what Opie can afford here. No, I mean, that that shot there puts Rob at match point. So Opie is now in a must-win scenario, starting on spy side. Is just really, it's scary. It's definitely attainable. And if there was anyone I would expect to obtain it, Opie would be one of those people. But it's still scary nonetheless. But we're going to see what happens. As Opie plays Orange Sorry yet again, fast spy, slow character. But you're on a really big venue this time. So mm -hmm. Opie's going to have to make sure that we are moving here. Or being really efficient with our you know locations. So we're going to see how that plays out in three. Two, one, playing it. Definitely got to make the most of every single movement and hopefully things don't move around too much for us to be dragged around. Totally. Also, it'll be no stranger to comebacks. Pulled off one of the greatest ones of all time in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, but that had much higher stakes. I think OP plays much better under pressure. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. don't have any mission progress to show right now and already down a little bit of time yeah not making the most of this conversation rob isn't gonna you know reward you too much for idling right amba coming our way isn't gonna give us an opportunity rob would have been all over it anyway luckily our sd comes to us we get 41 percent first flirt so that's something bad. it's not bad I think we got to see something else start to develop first, though. Or soon, rather. Opie is a big opponent of timer flirting, so I'd be surprised to see him go for that here. He might be letting yeah. a party cook. Well, we know what happened last time we let things cook, Vagorov. Oh, boy. That's a swap. Swap more high lit for it, but not dead yet. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, that's that's a match point play right there. You're doing that if you are desperate and need the win. Rob's rotated and... to check the statue. Zooming in to guard that bug. I believe that was a, like a quick put down too. I think that was just a zero cycle. Oh yeah. The lights are starting to come off here, so Grav has confirmed to himself that there's been a swap. He might be trying to do it subtly, too. Yeah, maybe. Hope he takes no benefit from that red book. Maybe reading into the fact that Rob is kind of being still to watch that back to the same convo we, we have, have 65 right now and toboshi is not happy toboshi wept and two missions to go a minute 20 <laughs> and hey, a one percent for it to go <laughs> i was gonna say that is 2.01 missions <laughs> to you <laughs> Rob, at this point, faking lights on the left side of the venue there to try to get Opie into, you know, maybe taking that standing bug. Highlights the double agent who leaves Opie's conversation. Uh, I dare say that Rob uh, has secured uh, the win in this set. Hey, anything can happen. But if Opie's camera shakes and walking to the corner of the venue here say anything. Oh, dear. Do have a time ad. It is green, but that's also going to show itself 
very obviously in about five seconds on the sniper side. I think Rob's lighting up the shot, honestly. Shove herself in a conversation that is yep. enough. Time ad. I mean, that's a set. Set over. Uh, what was the final score on that one, Nebula? 9-5, I think? 9-5. Yeah, more just of a gap than I would have expected in these two. Yeah, I think it just... I feel like Opie just wasn't quite pushing enough on Spy. I feel like I wanted to see more of that, like, earlier on, rather than, like, with this last game with, like, that really uh, sudden swap. Like, I yeah, just kind of I mean, feel like... He picked he picked his play this game. He was going for that swap, trying to get in and out without being seen. He just was seen, and that didn't work out. Right. So he, he took some of his plays, but... You are right in that most of these games, he was very passive, I think, compared to his usual play. Yeah, and I think just, you know, Rob, Rob is someone who will absolutely punish that if you're not, you know, playing your absolute A game on your spy. If there's anyone that will punish you for that, Rob is the person. And he did today, so. Great job to Rob. Yeah, GG's both players. Well done, Rav. Congrats on your two points. And see how that goes as we head into week four and beyond. Yeah, that has been our cast for today. Uh, thank yeah. you for joining me, Iko. Yes, thank you for having us, Nebula. Thank you for joining me, Lagorv. Mm -hmm. It was a great time. Yeah, it's a good cast. Fun time. Uh, thank you all for watching. Tune in for more Spy Party Major League casts. Uh, season less than halfway over. Yeah. And I think Good. that's about it. Yeah, join us next weekend. There will be more to see every Saturday and Sunday. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.